don't make these mistakes in Warpath. This is going to be a full guide and list on things not to make a mistake on. It's going to help absolutely everyone whether you're new or already established player in the game guys please take a full note of all of these mistakes that i've made as well as many other creators and also not just creators but community members within warpath they've all given me a list of things they've made mistakes and i'm telling you guys some of these are so important hope this video helps you guys a lot if it did please let me know down below and of course always let me know if there's anything else i can help you with i appreciate each and every single one of you i hope you're all having an amazing day Let's jump straight into it. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's been joining the Discord. It has been blowing up and you guys have been having so many conversations over there. Massive thank you. I really do appreciate it. Please let me know if you are joining the Discord for the Warpath. We'll be able to give you that special Warpath crew tag. Once again, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you all. Let's jump straight into the video. So, guys, jumping straight in, the first thing we're going to talk about is the units. And what I see a lot of people doing when making their units, let's just say they have already made their mind up. They want to get a helicopter, right? They will make a Tank Hunter 7.1, but then they'll make a second Tank Hunter. 7.1 and now make a third tank hunter 7.1 now instead of just going after the one unit that you want what you need to do is prepare for the future because you never know what's going to happen so what you're going to want to do guys is when you're assembling your units for sure you're going to want to make at least one 7.1 of the unit you're going to want to go for but then after that guys you're going to want to try and get 7.1 units of all of the other units that are available so as you can see here if i go to my reverse assembly when i go to 7.1 i have all almost all of the units here at 7.1 now i am missing the infantry but i'm working towards it then if i go over to the martys i'm missing the fighter plane and the medium but i'm gonna work towards it and then finally over here i've already completed all of them i've got all units 7.1 for my liberty this means if at any point in the game i decide i want to change a unit then all i need to do guys is when i have 12 tokens available and what i mean by tokens is the blueprints all you need to do is get 12 blueprints available and then simply guys by going into a restricted battlefield Field, i'm then able to get a 7.1 unit of my choosing and then eventually i'll be able to upgrade that to a 7.2 so guys definitely think about spreading out where you upgrade your units because at the same time guys i know many people who literally only have one or two within each section and if they did want to change in the future they're not going to be able to for a very long time moving on to number two guys this odyssey is probably the biggest i didn't want to start with the biggest one but i think we need to go straight into it officers guys officers are the biggest thing about this game it doesn't matter what unit you have you could have the best unit in the game but if you don't have the right officers on that unit it's not going to be any good so i actually went and asked a lot of people within the community whether it be from on my videos whether it be in my server people i've known on the game for ages what is the number one mistakes that you've made yourself when leveling up your account maybe you've come over those mistakes now and you've definitely improved but what were the original mistakes you made on your account and i'm not gonna lie to you guys 90% of the people that responded to me with the mistakes they made was not worrying or caring about officers and not understanding how important officers are. So with that being said, guys, what I would have urged you to do is definitely make sure that you are checking out what officers are suiting the units you're going to be using. Now, just because you're using a unit right now, in the future, you might say want a helicopter. There's no point you getting, you know, an artillery officer now or getting a tank officer now. Now, of course, tank and helicopters are kind of the same, but the helicopters have different officers that you would use rather than maybe an MB. They can use the same officers, but they have different effects depending on the unit you're using. So definitely make sure you do your research on what officer you think is going to be best for your unit that you're going to end up using the most. The next thing I want to tell you about, guys, is skill training. Now, with skill training, you obviously take a skill and you could apply it to another officer. Now, one thing I want to let you know, guys, is the first skill on any officer, doesn't matter what officer it is, the first skill within that officer, this cannot be put onto a skill training i think probably 99 percent of you guys know this but just in case you didn't and you wasn't aware and you think you know what i want to take that damage coefficient and put it on this officer for example obviously you wouldn't do that with this pairing but i'm just giving you an example you cannot put on the skills that belong to the first skill so it can only be the second third or fourth skill that you could move over so make sure that if you are looking to do some skill training with an officer you're not going to use that officer please don't level up the first one if you're not going to use it the next thing about officers guys again this is going to be a lot on officers because officers are the biggest thing that people go wrong with now when leveling up officers i have noticed a lot of people do this okay they will go level two 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 three 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 maybe not in that order they'll go like three 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 or four 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 instead of going one two three four five 
then the next one one two three four five it is much more effective to get one skill to level five than it is to get all skills to level two or all skills to level three having one skill at level five depending on the skill obviously is going to be much better so let's just say you are wanting an artillery officer and you know you want a sieging officer which is you know someone who's going to attack bases eye of providence is going to be your best option for this he is the best option when it comes to sieging bases so when i'm attacking a base it is going to be more beneficial for me to completely get this first skill to level five than it is for me to go two 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 with that being said guys always focus on leveling up one skill at a time and as well another big thing i've noticed it's gonna sound even crazy because you might not believe it some of you might be like wait people actually do this i've known loads of people to do this is they will put like three 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 then they'll stop they'll go to another officer three 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 now as you can see here i got two 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 but this was during an event again this is proof that i made the same mistakes everyone makes mistakes guys i went two 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 and i probably could have just got them maybe used like in here i could have just maybe got this one to level three or something but instead i went two 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 everyone makes mistakes if we go back to some of the older ones maybe we can see the same mistakes i made back then i don't think so no okay i only made this mistake like once or twice guys here's another one where i made a mistake right at the start of the game when eruptor was like first out and he was one of the only artillery officers that i could put with antonina i decided to go three this was also three at the time three and then two i was spreading them out and this is the wrong thing to do guys so again i made the mistakes but I'm also here to help you guys not make the same mistakes I used to make. And as well as a lot of people made. So with that being said, guys, again, don't just do three here. Then go to the next officer. Do three here. Then go to the next officer. Do three there. Don't spread your officer coins out. What you're going to want to do is when you have decided, I want this officer, work only on that one officer. Don't spread out your coins. You want to try and focus on getting one officer awoken as soon as possible. And again, try and work on one skill at a time. Now, if you are using this officer, let's just say you're going to want to use this officer always get the first skill done first okay this is going to be the priority skill number one skill should always be priority after that you kind of want to check to see what the skills do how good they are and how much they will affect you and improve your ability of doing damage or tanking with valkyrie for example you're going to want to end up getting her first skill then you're going to want to get her third skill then i'm thinking after that you're going to want to get this skill here and then finally you want to get a second skill and then that's when you'll get her awoken but yeah guys i hope this has helped you with officers again they are probably the most important thing in the game okay so it doesn't matter how good your unit is you could have the meta unit if you have the wrong officers it's a useless unit so officers are the main thing to focus in the game please do your research on officers they are most important and critical part of the game moving on to the next biggest thing guys it's going to be research now again i asked a lot of people about mistakes they've made and the two things i got back was officers research research is so important important end game guys early game yeah it's kind of important but nowhere near as important end game so end game everything is down to research and if you're doing the wrong research and not taking advantage of it you're really gonna lose and fall behind now i'm gonna help you guys understand how you're gonna want to do your research so again do not try and spread out too much as you can see here i'm kind of spreading out but it's not too much i've already done my artillery maxed and i'm working towards doing my tanks maxed but at the same time i am trying to also upgrade to be able to get some base hp because i'm a little weak on the base hp side so again i'm a little bit spread out but i'm not too spread out at the same time what i want to advise you to do guys is of course you're gonna want to get your war done to be able to level up your units but guys focus this first you want to try and get this done as quick as you can but at the same time i know i'm telling you to try and get this done as quick as you can although you want industry done city honors is your number one priority you want to unlock this here okay once you increase your daily arms race to 200 you are going to be earning double the rewards from here now, this is obviously very important because it gives you city contribution badges. Now, every single stage here gives you city contribution badges. Very very important because city contribution badges are used to upgrade you can see here they used to upgrade your research on pretty much everything past basic city defense now i don't think you needed them on basic city defense but advanced and modern you need them for every single upgrade with that being said I have quite a lot because I pretty much got this unlocked straight away. This was one of the first things I ever done. I remember my leader telling me when I first started the game that I should focus on trying to get that. 
and I did, and I did not make this mistake. So guys, number one priority when it comes to research, please get your city honors done because you're going to need as many of those contribution coins as possible. So 100% when you are doing research, obviously it's going to take time. I'm not saying that you need to only ever do city honors and then only ever do this. And you can do more than one at a time if you obviously have the ability to. If you only can do one at a time, it's going to take you longer. But of course, that's okay. Once you go to advanced, for example, whether you are a tank main, then you're going to want to focus on your tank tree. If you're an artillery main, you're going to want to focus on your artillery. But what I would advise, guys, is don't say do one in artillery, one in tank, one in artillery, one in tank, one in artillery, one in tank. Focus on one tree at a time. Same with anything that you're doing. Try and focus on one at a time. So let's just say you are doing advanced artillery. You want to focus on trying to do as much as you can. Sure, you can every now and then do a war one if you haven't already you should be towards the end here but these obviously do take time you can do some of these every now and then but what i mean by focusing is if you are doing artillery don't do artillery tank and plane try and focus on doing just one at a time once that's done then you can move on to the next one slowly but surely you will eventually get there okay guys so the next thing we're going to talk about here is gold it's a very simple one with gold it is a very rare commodity the only way to get it really as a free to play player is going to be via the battle honors and the daily arms race and of course the jurisdiction now again i've already made loads of videos on this i would tell you guys please 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 focus on trying to get to the 2500 gold and of course it is doubled to 5000 if you have that city honors unlocked so priority is try and do this every single day to try and get as much gold as possible but the don'ts okay when it comes to research once you go on here if you go to rush don't rush with gold okay it's probably the most expensive thing in the game maybe i'm wrong and there is something more expensive like completely waste but this from what i know off the top of my head this is like the biggest waste of gold don't rush your research using gold okay please that's a that's a big do not do okay the next thing as well is be careful when it comes to your vip with gold one thing i would advise you not to make a mistake on is not getting these these are what you're gonna want to buy you're gonna want to buy these as much as you can i know they're expensive but he's definitely worth it. it is gonna help you progress in the game so much faster so again mistakes not to do is don't forget about getting the refined components in the vip store ever so important probably the most important thing to buy in the store if i'm going to be honest with you so the next mistake a lot of people make guys is let's just say today is a friday there is nothing in battle honors here regarding opening my troops so the worst thing i can do on a friday is open troops because i'm not going to get anything for it the biggest thing i notice people doing is not utilizing the daily events so guys with battle honors and daily arms race again these are the same thing and then also jurisdiction what you want to try and do guys is every four hours when you get a new jurisdiction try and do not necessarily try and do them all but if it's on the same day for example today's theme is building power and tech power so in today guys i'm going to want to try and upgrade my buildings whether that be upgrading a wall of mine or doing some research but what i'm going to want to do is i'm going to want to wait until i can time it perfectly to be able to get the extra gold from within the jurisdiction timing your jurisdiction and your daily arms race is going to be your number one benefit and you do not want to make this mistake okay don't make the mistake of upgrading on days that aren't upgrading days don't make the mistake of researching on days that are nothing to do with research try and focus on each day of the week now you can find all this information if you go here to the themes so as you can tell we've already gone over this in other videos guys but again try and make sure you're sticking to each day of the week and upgrading the certain things that they need with within those days okay the next thing guys is going to be building upgrades so you're going to want to get at least two of these barracks to level 32 i've got three and i might even have four i have four because we wasn't restricted and i now have all five but this is only as of recent even if you look at my hangers i have one hanger at 32 but then the others i don't have at 32 because i don't have enough units to put in them so instead of using all your resources on upgrading absolutely every single building available sometimes it's not necessary to upgrade all five unless of course you are doing the five unit strategy which requires you to be in a bit of a lower battleground and as well it requires you to be in a restricted battleground but of course please 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 do not upgrade anything unnecessarily again these level 32 have been buffed now so they are kind of worth to get you could literally earn 75k an hour 
far and honestly guys it is definitely worth it every 12 hours you can get almost a million so every 12 hours guys you can almost get a million resources and that's times four so you can get four million resources which is eight million resources a day and then if you use buffs we're going to be getting into this in a minute if you use buffs guys you can increase that yield by an extra 25 percent the next thing i'm going to talk about guys as mistakes not to make is as a free to play player guys you are going to want to always be using your trucks have your trucks out 24 7 okay and as well as the trucks obviously again the production it's kind of important i mean i don't see many people making this mistake but you're gonna want to try and have your production going as much as possible i would advise if you're someone who can't log in as much as possible try and go for these later ones that way you're going to be able to keep the queue going for a lot longer and therefore there's a less chance of you making a mistake and missing it so always try and have your queues going it's not a mistake i see many people making but you never know so another request guys from one of my alliance members they spoke to me about blueprints now one mistake they made is just because for example here i don't have a liberty bomber i could just scrap this you never know down the line you might change your mind i might get a liberty bomber eventually i just don't know especially when it comes to gold plus i would just keep all gold pluses and all gold plus pluses and then that way what you could do is try and hold on to as many blueprints as possible if you do want want to get rid of the blueprints via the conversion store make sure that you definitely you know you're not going to need them that way when you do convert them you're not going to be losing anything but i would definitely advise always keep on to gold plus pluses 100 percent. and then gold pluses here i would definitely advise you to try and keep on to as many as possible let's just say you know you're never going to need this one i know i'm not going to need this one so technically i could get rid of these but i'm just keeping on to it you never know i might even get another howie eventually so with that being said guys definitely think about keeping on to your gold pluses don't scrap them just because you don't use them make sure you are being wise when it comes to removing your blueprints because you never know down the line you may just want to change your units up one day so guys the next thing i know one of my good friends sky he is gonna be so happy i'm talking about this but buffs guys when i was started out i never used buffs never i always got them and i was like yeah i want to I hold on to them i want to hold on to them. like what if i need them at some point you earn buffs very fast in this game okay especially this top half the bottom half it can get a little bit dicey okay these are very hard to come by they do cost gold if you want to buy the advanced ones and these ones are you know pretty hard to get if you're not got loads of energy and you're not farming loads of bunkers and stuff so they can be hard to come by but what i would advise guys is please do not be afraid to try and at least the 20 percent always try and have what especially if you're fighting if you're fighting always have one of these on because they are pretty cheap so you can get them for 1500 gold in the store and as well as that you could also get them now in the conquest store which is also huge so always use buffs and the buffs i'm going to tell you to use 24 7 if they are off you're doing something wrong okay you want to do the military drive the steel drive the oil drive now you can use the eight hours if you know you're going to be logging on every eight hours sure you can use them but honestly i get so many of these now i genuinely was too afraid to use them because i thought i'm going to use them all up guys just use the 24 hour one that way even if you forget like if you use the eight hour one and you forget about it you're going to kick yourself okay use the 24 hour ones every every single day you want to use the 24 hour for the three different oil drives this is going to give you the 25 percent yield on all of these buildings right here and then finally guys the other one that we saw here was the collection speed so 50 percent resource collection speed for 24 hours this is going to be for your trucks to go out so again you're going to be gaining a little bit faster but let's just say guys you use this buff i don't want you to get a little confused here so let's just say you use it and you notice you only got 30 minutes off of a four hour yield and you're like well that's not 50 percent it's not 50 percent from your overall okay so if you look into your research right now you will see here that you have things like crude oil collection speed 30 percent you have different buffs collection speed 25 percent so you are already getting collection buffs from your research the 50 percent collection speed is from the original original amount it's a very 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 small amount in which you're actually reducing but it's better than nothing guys so please 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 always remember to use your buffs this is a 100 percent must use i would always advise whenever you're fighting always chuck on a minimum of a four hour buff of five percent you could use the eight hours if you know you're going to be on for a long period of time or you're going to be maybe you're not necessarily on but you've sent your unit to a rally and you're going to always be retraining it 
throughout the day. Chuck on an eight hour one. The 10% ones, you know, if you're really going to be there, definitely think about using them. But honestly, guys, don't be afraid to use buffs. I've got a lot more happy using them lately. I used to be afraid of using them. Please don't be afraid. Don't, don't think you need to save them up for a rainy day. Trust me, just use them. Use your buffs, you get loads of them back. The next thing we're going to talk about, guys, is arena. Now, I've noticed a lot of people in the arena do be getting a lot better now. The arena is getting much harder. People are starting to definitely learn. But for example, when I go here, I see people using MBs. Guys, MBs are completely useless. Do not use an MB. They're useless now. Honestly, everything will kill it. So what the best setup you can pretty much have right now, depending on the situation. So right here, this would kind of be almost perfect. You want to kind of have two infantry at the front. You're going to then want to have rocket launcher because rocket launcher is most effective against infantry. And then ATG is definitely going to help towards the people that use the MBs, the helis and stuff like that. And then a helicopter. And we all know how good a helicopter is. But having the double infantry at the front, always check. Click on the this week part, guys. Always check. So anti-tank right now is getting extra two grids and it's getting 200% firepower. So ATG kind of you know right now it's definitely gonna want to be there would i always use it not always but most of the time i will use an atg but a lot of people are using howies howies are good against infantry but rocket launchers are a bit better so in this situation guys you're gonna want to focus on trying to have as much protection at the front which is going to be infantry and then you're going to want to have your more attack focus stuff behind now you can move your units around to any spot that you want so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at where units are so as you can see right here because the infantry is on the right i'm going to want to have my rocket launcher on the right if i put it this way around my atg will attack the infantry and do no damage my rocket launcher will attack the mb it'll do some damage but it'll do more damage if i swap them around always make sure you know what you're attacking and where you're going to position your units but i would always advise try and have two infantry at the front if you can and then your three main units at the back now again please check each week what your actual buffs are going to be then you can spread them out to be better suited for that week the final thing i'm going to advise for the arena guys is instead of using up all of your challenges right now i personally will use one at reset because there is a daily challenge so that i can get my rewards i do one attack right at the start of the day guys but after that one attack at the start of the day i will wait until the last five minutes wait until the very last five minutes of reset if you're able to obviously if you're asleep or something it can't be helped do them before you go to bed but try and leave it as late as possible that way you have a much higher chance of being able to boost up to the top right at the end instead of already being high and people then knocking you back down all right guys moving on to the next one and i actually forgot about this one this here is gonna be important a lot of people who i have asked recently have only just found this out and i'm actually embarrassed to say this people in my own alliance who are very strong by the way people in my own alliance didn't even know this until the last couple of months and i'm genuinely so shocked guys do not spend your drink tokens in the bistro wait until the executive lounge opens once the executive lounge opens you can trade your drink coupons for the exclusive drinks now you can trade for every three drinks here you can get one drink on the exclusive and you can get up to 40 so if within the month obviously this opens once every month so within the month if you can save up to 120 drinks because that's the maximum you can get for free you can get 40 free drinks drinks in the exclusive lounge guys this is so important because you could literally get free officer statues towards leveling up your executive lounge officers please don't use your drinks in here it is a complete waste because you get absolutely nothing you get some officers that are not really important in the game no one cares about these officers they are not that important and then you get a couple of buffs but please save them all up i i generally was in shock when i found out that even people in my own alliance didn't even know about this until literally last month Month. so i'm so happy to be making this video because apparently this is not going to be helping just newer players it's also going to be helping some of the older players so please save your drink coupons each month make sure you're spending them in the executive lounge instead the next thing this is more going to be towards beginners but at the same time you may not even realize it vip is so important it's probably one of the most important things and early game you're going to want to spend 80 percent of your gold on vip levels i would advise let's just say you've just started out and 
and you're level VIP two, three, four, I would advise you to spend each month all of your gold into VIP until you are at least level 10, minimum, minimum level 10. But I would advise you guys, honestly, the best VIP to be at, 14. VIP 14, you unlock enough stuff in the store to be able to get, for example, here, you are going to be able to get the troop expansion of 40%. You're going to be able to get, I believe, 24-hour rushes. That might be level 15. I'm not sure. I do apologize if it is 15. But 100%, I know for a fact you can get this at level 14 and then anything above it. From the troop expansion medium, which is 40% barrack capacity, and everything above, you will now have access to at vip 14 not only that but you also then get all of these buffs permanently now with regards to this guys please this is a 100 need vip 14 should be the minimum you go for vip 15 is nice nothing crazy but the difference between 14 here as you can see you get three statues three coupons every day vip 15 you get three and three you think well nothing's really changed and i agree vip 15 is kind of a, a mid space but vip 16 is where it gets interesting because at vip 16 you get a gold blueprint every single day guys vip 16 is kind of the later game minimum you want to be minimum vip 16 if you could get to 18 where you get two a day that's huge i mean i'm only 16 right now it takes a long time i personally do not use my gold for vip anymore i will show you how i still get my vip stuff but it, again it's very slow so early game guys you want to use all your gold until you're at least level 12 i would say minimum level 12 because then you get the troop damage of five percent but honestly guys please 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 even if you're only level 12 try and get yourself to level 14 one you want to use gold and the second thing you want to use is in your alliance store you see here your contribution coins i would advise you to get your universal coupons get your drinks get the first one here if you can but anything you have left over right here guys everything 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 into your vip i will be putting mine into vip but i'm gonna wait until the reset so that i can guaranteed get these three and then once i've got these three guys i'm gonna be putting the rest all into vip please guys use your vip coupons to grab vip and then use your gold to get vip vip is the most important thing okay vip is so important the next thing guys is the campaign we're going to talk about the campaign i know a lot of people actually as of recently have only just started to complete it this should be your number one focus focus early stage 100 percent. focus on getting your campaign maxed out and completed as soon as you can because the reason for it is your resupply rate hourly is gonna get so much more of these coins which means every three day reset you're going to be able to get so much more bullets to be able to level yourself up much faster so guys please 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 focus on getting this completed as soon as possible i know so many people who longed it out because they just couldn't be bothered guys complete the campaign it will give you so much more rewards in the long run the next thing is not necessarily a mistake it is gonna cost you a lot but what i would advise guys is once you have all your buildings done and you don't really have much else to level up please then start to slowly focus on your walls now i'm going to give you a tip guys the best thing to do when it comes to walls obviously mine aren't exactly amazing i only have 50 34 30 30 mine aren't that high and i'm paying the repercussions of it because i am pretty weak i'm only 617 million hp when it comes to my base hp it's not a lot compared to a lot of people at my level and honestly i'm like a glass cannon you know i have some decent damage but at the same time i can die very very fast so yes i am now slowly working towards leveling up but you might be thinking scopes why do you have one at level 50 one at 34 and then the others at 30 it's kind of the same thing when it comes to your officers you don't want to spread them out one 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 two 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 three 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 you're going to want to look at the information here and by looking at the information you can see how things scale as you can see here at level one is where you start okay but level two you get one percent damage resist so what you're going to want to do guys is you are technically going to want to get every single one to level two so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go two 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 that way you're taking advantage of the one percent damage resist of your base what this means is you're now going to have four percent damage resist then 
what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go from level two to level five. So you're then going to want to go five, two, 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 five, five, two, two, and then five, 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 two, and then finally five, 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 five. So what you're going to want to do is take a look at the stats here, see at what point you're going to be getting kind of the resist and how much it's going to benefit you. But I would definitely say once you're at level five, then go to level 10 on 10 on one of them, then go to 10 on the next, 10 on the next, 10 on the next. Then you're going to want to go to 20 on all of them. Once you go to 20 on all of them, then you're going to look at the next one, which is 25. Then you're going to want to go to 25 on all of them. Then you want to go to 30 on all of them because that's at the 6%. Then once you're at 30, I would say go straight from 30 to 50. So then you want to go 30 to 50, 30 to 50, 30 to 50, 30 to 50. So at that point, I'm once I've got 50 on all of them, I might as well go to 60 on all of them. Once I'm at 60 on all of them, again, I'll go to 70 and then 80, because at this point, it's only gaining one at a time. Once I'm at 80, I might as well go straight to 100 because I get another boost of 2% there. So once I have 80 on all of them, I'll then go to 100 on one of them. Then I'll go to 100 on the second, 100 on the third, 100 on the fourth, and so on and so on. Obviously, you'll be able to calculate that depending on how much of the jump you get, depending on the levels but that's a long way down the line i hope this has helped you when it comes to upgrading your walls and how you should do it don't leave it too late to get your walls done because they are very important the next thing guys is not necessarily a mistake it's just a final thought on something i would give you when it comes to alliances i see a lot of people have asked me recently why i'm in a smaller alliance why am i playing in silver one maybe gold three sometimes why am i not you know i'm a little bit stronger i have the potential to play in higher alliances why don't i and honestly, because at the end of the day, I'm having fun. I feel like a lot of people might try and take it a bit too serious. At the end of the day, it's a game that you're meant to have fun with. And that's the best thing I want you to take away from this as well, guys, is when you join an alliance, join an alliance that you can chill out, have fun, but at the same time, still enjoy winning. Sometimes it is harder to win in those higher leagues. Just because you are able to play in a higher league, maybe it's not best for it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that if you are a super whale, you should be playing in low leagues that you're going to dominate, because I don't dominate. We still go up against other alliances that are just as strong as us, because although we are a small alliance, we're a smaller alliance with bigger people, so therefore we also get matched against smaller alliances with bigger people but what i'm trying to say guys is just because they're the biggest alliance in your server doesn't necessarily mean you have to be with them it can be fun to join a big alliance don't get me wrong but the grass isn't always greener on the other side the bigger you are the harder you fall i've seen a lot of alliances over the time crumble because of power and stuff and at the end of the day we are a very small alliance afk we are always recruiting we're welcoming anyone who is pretty much over 100 mil there are some rare exceptions to being under that but if you are definitely over 100 mil and you're very active activity is the main thing because when you're in a small alliance you need activity because sure in the bigger alliances you need activity too but at the same time it is a lot harder for us to stay in control when you have a lot of people just not helping i think that's the same with all alliances not just small but you definitely need activity if you're someone who's active and you know further down the line you hit over 100 mil obviously that number's gonna go up as of right now if there's anyone who's over 100 mil who's looking to maybe join afk feel free you're gonna be more than welcome to do so all we ask is just activity and uh, to be a nice person you know but guys number one rule have fun okay i appreciate you all for tuning into today's video i know it was a bit of a longer video guys but i hope these mistakes that i made and many other people who i've spoke to within the community who some of them are almost like 400 million power right now have helped me come up with this list of mistakes that we've made in the past that we just want to help you guys not make the same mistakes hope this video helped you guys a lot i appreciate you all and hopefully i'll see you all in the next video take care guys